after 32 years of motorsport and 11 years with Audi Sport, then finally when winning the World Championship, having a third Le Mans victory in our pocket this year, felt it was the right time to take one step back to hand the steering wheel to the next generation and, and to retire from racing these beautiful beasts. It's always a tough decision for a racing driver to make that step. However, it was made easy when I sit back and look through my career, whether it be from karting from when I won my first race in Morecambe in the north of England in 1982, or through all of the years with uh, Audi, with the R8, with the R10, the R15, and now the R18 e-tron Quattro. But there's no better feeling for a driver than spraying champagne on the podium. And I have to say, with Audi, we spray a lot of champagne on the podium. That's, that's definitely true. But the time's right now for me just to take that step back, to move into different roles and uh, to be able to support my colleagues, my teammates in making sure that the success continues for them. Yeah, now it's announced that I'm going to stop driving then, you know, to some extent you sit down, you relax, you take in a little bit of the energy that you've been expending for years because you do so much work, so much traveling, so much fun, so much testing, so much everything to be a racing driver that uh, I'll take a little time just to enjoy my family a little bit more than I've maybe done in the past. And also, uh, before long the new season kicks in, I'm still going to be involved with Audi Sport. There's, it's my family. It's a big part of me. It's, it's home. And so therefore I'll be going to see the guys uh, in the future uh, in the press and the marketing. I'm sure we'll be quite interested in uh, talking about their current world champion along with Tom and Loic. But as well as that, I've always been interested in working with TV. And so I think you might see me popping up on the screens talking about maybe motorsport as well.